In a large part of our lives, we, are, we deal with solutions. We deal with solutions as common as cold rings or as complex as alloys of, of various metals combining to give different physical properties. So to study, to study these solutions, we humans use something we call as concentrations. Concentrations. And in this video, uh, in this short video, I want to talk about concentrations that are uh, used in day-to-day -day life and uh, they're expressed as a percent, as a percent. So uh, we, we can talk about, we, we will divide this into three parts. Uh, first will be mass by mass or weight by weight percentage. The second will be volume over volume percentage. And the third would be mass by volume or weight over volume percentage. And in all of these, it's just uh, to calculate a simple percent and the idea just remains the same. So, so let's, let's start with mass over mass or weight over weight percent. So in, in this case, in this case, what you're looking at is you're taking the mass of the solute, mass of the solute, that's the thing that's present in the lesser amount, and you are dividing it by mass of the entire solution, and you're taking a percent of that, since we are talking about percent concentrations, and that gives you the mass over mass concentration. So if you take an example, let's say you dissolve five grams of sugar, five grams of sugar in 20 grams of water. And so the solute in this case is sugar. So instead of mass of the solute, you write five grams. And beneath it, beneath it, um, you have to calculate the mass of the solution. So the solution is made up of two parts. It's made up of the solute and the solvent. So to calculate the mass of the solution, you have to add the masses of solute as well as the solvent. So you have, you have five grams coming from sugar and you have, you have 20 grams coming from the water. And you multiply it by 100 to get your percent. So that will be five over 25 grams cancel out. You don't need to worry about that. And so five over 25 times 100, you simplify that and it becomes 20% a mass by mass solution of sugar in water. Let's, let's continue talking about these percentages. Let's take, let's take a volume over volume percent. So what base, that means is that you, you take you take volume of solute, volume of solute over volume of solution. And you use this in cases wherein you are mixing two liquids. So when you mix two liquids, let's say to make another medicine from mixing two medicines, you need to figure out you need to figure out what sort of concentrations they that they have and what sort of effects those concentrations would have on the human body. And so for that, you use volume over volume. So, so if you take two liquids, let's take, let's take hydrofluoric acid at Cl, and let's say it's dissolved in water in, in H2O, and let's take, uh, let's take a 5% weight by volume by volume sample of this, and let's take 200 ml, so let's say it's in a beaker, there is a, there is a 5% weight volume by volume solution and out of this beaker you take out 200 200 mls 200 milliliters of the solution so since since solutions are homogeneous mixtures so it doesn't matter where you take whether you take 200 milliliters from here or 200 milliliters from the top it's going to be same it's homogeneous so, so what you have is you you have 200 mils, you have 200 milliliters, and uh, you take uh, off of of a five percent volume by volume solution. 
So the volume of HCl in this case is just going to be 5% of 200 ml, of 200 ml. And if you figure that out, if you compute it, so it would give you 5 over 100 times 200. And if you calculate that, that's equal to 10 ml. So what that means is that if I scoop out any 200 milliliters out of the beaker containing this 5 percent volume by volume concentrated solution, you are always going to get 10 ml of HCl in that, in that 200 ml that you take out. So, so the idea, idea still remains the same. When we were talking about mass over mass, we said how many grams or how many units of, of the solute lie in 100 units of the solution. In weight over weight, you are talking about how many, how many, how much volume, how much volume units of the solute lies in the volume unit in 100 volume units of the solution. And next we have, next we have uh, the weight by volume or mass by volume, whatever, whatever you prefer. And this, uh, as the name implies, you are now taking a ratio of mass of solute over over the volume the volume of solution so what that means is uh, and and then you're multiplying it by 100 of course to get a percent so what that means is if you dissolve let's say you dissolve 5 grams of table salt of table salt that's sodium chloride in 100 ml of 100 ml sample of H2O of water, then the mass by volume, the mass by volume percent or the weight by volume percent of the resulting solution would be the mass of the solute is 5 grams and the volume of the solution is 100 grams. And now you, you could have a doubt, you could have a tiny hair of doubt in your mind that, that this is actually the volume of solvent. This 100 ml is the volume of the solvent. And I just wrote it instead of the in the place of the volume of solution. How could I do that? Well, if you think about it, if you think a bit logically, then if, if in, a, in, a, in a glass of containing 100 ml of water, if you put in five grams of salt, uh, the there can be there can be some change in the volume but that's going to be really really negligible for the scale of problems that we are dealing here since when you dissolve such salts when you dissolve such solutes they occupy the spaces between the molecules of the solvent you essentially have approximately no change in the volume of the solution so the volume of the solution is just equal to the volume of the solvent. It's equal to the volume of the solvent, though not strictly equal. It's 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 somewhere I could say an approximation, and so you could multiply that by hundred to get your percent, and so hundred cancels hundred, you get a five percent five percent weight, 5% mass by volume solution of NaCl in H2O. A word about the units. So when you're, when you're computing percent concentrations, you have to take, in, take care in your mind that if you're, let's say, calculating M over M, you're calculating mass over mass. So both of these should have same units, same units, whether it be grams, kilograms, megagrams, micrograms, both of them have to be expressed in the same unit. So, so if you, if instead of having, instead of having five grams, five grams of sugar in 20 grams of water, you, let's say you have five grams of sugar in 20 kilograms, in 20 kilograms of water. In that case, in that case, you would have to bring this 20 kilograms into grams and that would have been 20,000 grams and then you would have solved the problem so it would have become 5 or 20,000 plus 5 into 100 and then you would have got some some number that would have been the concentration similarly in the case of volume by volume both of these have to be of the same unit whether it be milliliters it be liters of deciliters whatever it be 
they have to be of the same unit. If not, you have to convert it into the same unit to, in order to just divide it. Uh, we also we also have a word of caution about about the mass over volume percentage. So in mass over volume percentage, the general rule of the thumb will be to take the mass of solute in grams and the volume of solution in milliliters. So what the mass over volume ratio suggests, it suggests how many grams of the solute lies in 100 grams, grams of solute in 100, in 100 ml of solution. And you can scale this up and down. So if you multiply both of these units by 1,000, you would get kilogram on the top and liters here, and, and still it's the same thing. However, for, for practical purposes in laboratory, uh, you are most most usually being being getting to use smaller units like gram and milliliters. And so taking that convention in mind, using uh, grams for mass and volume milliliters for volume uh, might give you a bit of a luck in solving these problems easily. So I guess that calls for a nice nice um, introduction to concentrations of solution. I'll meet you in the next video and we'll continue talking about more ways to express how concentrated a solution is. See you in the next one.